Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's tutorial, we are going to look at something that happens to almost all of us when working in Word. You finish typing your document, and suddenly there is a blank page in the middle or at the end that just will not go away. I am going to show you a few easy ways to delete those extra pages and keep your document neat. The first method is the simplest. Place your cursor at the end of the page before the blank one and press the backspace key. If that does not work, put the cursor right at the top of the empty page and press backspace. Most of the time this will remove the blank page. If the page still stays there, it might be caused by hidden formatting. To fix that, open the View tab at the top and turn on the navigation pane. If it is off, click on the blank one and then press Delete. This works well when the page is not easy to spot in the normal layout view. Sometimes the problem comes from page breaks or section breaks. To see them, go to File, choose Options, and then click Display. Turn on the option that shows formatting marks. Now you will be able to see breaks or paragraph marks that are adding the extra page. Highlight them and delete them, and the blank page should disappear. Another situation happens when your document ends with a table. Word automatically leaves a paragraph after the table, which can create an extra page. To remove it, place the cursor in that empty paragraph and delete it. If it does not go, you can make the font very small or mark it as hidden so that the blank page no longer appears. You can also adjust spacing and indentation to zero to solve this issue. There is also a quick shortcut you can use. Press Ctrl and the letter G on your keyboard. Type the number of the page you want to remove, click Go To, and then press Bakes once or twice. This is useful when you know exactly which page you want gone. With these methods, you can easily handle any unwanted blank pages in Word and keep your document looking clean and professional. I hope this tutorial helped you. If it did, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comments what problem you would like me to cover in the next video. Thanks for watching and see you soon.